What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men Half Tech, my name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to watchOS 9, I'll be happy to let you know that we got the first beta of the fourth point update. So this brings us to watchOS 9.4 beta 1 and initially when I was updating my Apple Watch Ultra to this update, I was unable to update before updating my iPhone to iOS 16.4 beta 1 that just came out recently now after updating my iphone you can see the update size that came in for me it came in at exactly 739 megabytes and i was updating from the previous watch os public release which was watch os 9.3 now obviously when it comes to Apple operating systems or software updates this is not all that Apple released so I'm showing you here the Apple developer page and as you can see here they released iOS and iPadOS 16.4 beta 1 macOS 13.3 beta 1 i just did a video on that and of course watch os 9.4 beta 1 this is the video for that and we have tvos 16.4 beta 1 most of these updates i do cover here on the channel so if you want to keep up to date and get to know what's changed and what your devices can do then do subscribe so that you don't miss out now since I've already updated my device, I actually updated it yesterday. There's a bunch of notifications that came in since the update, but you can see your Apple Watch is up to date now. And that was yesterday, almost midnight. I did try to look for some new features and changes, but we'll begin with the software changes here. If we go into settings and then go to general and go to where it says about, you can see the new version that we have is watchOS 9.4 and the build number that comes with this version is 20T5222G. So this ends with a G and in terms of stability, you know what that means. It just means that we still will go and have a number of watchOS 9.4 betas until we get the A build and then the RC or release candidate version, which will be more stable and deemed for a public release in the next following week. Now, when it comes to some of the new features and changes that are here, let's show, let's, let me show you if I go into my messages app, cause this is something that I was testing. It took me a while to find all the emojis on the Apple watch, but I'll be happy to let you know that with watchOS 9.4, we have new emojis and you can see right there, these have been added to comply with Unicode 15 standards. So if you can see here, you notice from the top left, we have a pink heart we have shaking instruments we have a shaking face we have a comb we have a donkey a jellyfish peas we have i believe that's ginger we have a moose we have a wing a blue heart a gray heart a network icon and a ribbon now if you can't see this properly on your watch or if you want to see where you can find them for example i'll just show you one since it's it takes it takes a while to be able to find them on the watch so we'll look for the shaking face on as an example here just to show you that these are here so if you go all the way down just on the face section and uh, we'll go and scroll down you can see the moment you are almost about to exit this the face section that's where you have the shaking face and that's where it is right there and you can see it i'll send it to this device and you see that the shaking face has been received by my android device if you want to see them closer up i do have a picture here on my ios device since these have also been added to the latest apple operating system so if you update your iphone to ios 16.4 or ipad to ipad os 16.4 you update your mac or your watch then since these are unicode standards then all your devices like your iPhone, your Apple Watch, and your Mac are going to be able to see these new emojis. If you send them to someone who hasn't updated, they might see something that's like an X icon since they haven't updated to the latest watchOS beta or the latest update when it comes out. But these are good. It's good to see that they are here. Now, when it comes to some of the other changes that are here with this watchOS update, I'll show you one here on the iPhone. And if we go into settings on the iPhone and go to general and go to where it says about, 
you'll be able to see that we have coverage here and if you click on the coverage you can see that now on this ios update they have added the coverage section for your apple watch in here too so if you have a paired device on your apple id that's paired also with your iphone you can see the paired uh, coverage that you have and for this apple watch you can see that i do have limited warranty and you can also see if you have ongoing or if you have expired warranty like my airpods pro first gen that are expired here if you click on the apple watch you can see where limited when limited warranty expires september 25 2023 and also you can see what's covered and what's not and if you want help it also gives you a link to that so it's a new addition on the latest ios 16.4 and since it covers the watch i just thought it's something worth mentioning now when it comes to the home app i'll be happy to let you know that on watchOS 9.4 it's back it used to be there but for some reason it got pulled and if we open the home app section here you can see how it looks and you can see if you have favorites or devices that you might have paired with your device so i have my tv here and it's a smart tv so i am able to control basic functions of it using this device or using this um, apple watch in the home app but if you want to be able to do more then you need to switch over to your iphone so we'll search for home and if we open it up you'll be able to see how this has been updated and if you click the three dots of the options in the top right corner and you go to home settings you can see that you can do a software update here and if you click software update you can learn more and you'll be able to see home has a new underlying architecture that will improve the performance of your home so this is new and the new home app architecture is available in watchOS 9.4 and it's also available in iOS 16.4 so if you do have a home smart device that supports this then you'll be able to utilize this full functionality of that feature now basically when it comes to this update i try to look for you know some new features new changes or new ad added sections like watch faces and stuff i'll be unfortunately able to tell you that this hasn't been added so no new watch faces in this aspect and apple didn't really tell us much when it comes to watch OS 9.4 but there could be changes coming pretty soon i'm not sure whether software updates for the apple watch are going to be integrated with the iphone since the apple watch is pretty much very reliant on the iphone so on the iphone with ios 16.4 you can see if you go into your settings and then you go to general and go to software update they've made changes here where now you can choose to do automatic updates on and off and if you want to also choose security updates you can do that but now this new section that says beta updates you can see here if you are an ios 16 developer beta you can choose to update there and if you are on ios 16 public beta you can choose to receive those updates from that profile now since the apple watch is pretty much very reliant on the iphone this is something that might be tied into your apple id and for you to be able to update your watch pretty soon since they're trying to stop like people from distributing apple developer or public beta profiles it's something that might be added in a later beta perhaps beta 2 or beta 3 of the apple watch software update page i'll keep an eye on it and if the change does come then i will definitely let you know but on the iphone it's there and i have an idea or i i'm pretty certain that on the apple watch it's also going to follow suit so now let's talk about you know battery performance since this is something that i have been using for quite a while i charged it last night you can see i updated a while ago too it was yesterday so if we go into settings and then we'll go back to the home settings section here and if we go to the battery section there you can see my watch is on 89 percent so i've used up 11 percent and you can see when it was last charged that was yesterday thursday around almost midnight so eight minutes to midnight is when i charged it and you can see here it's almost 12 30 so 
yeah, I've been using it for quite a while now. And since I used it to track my sleep as well, you can see that it's holding up pretty good. I did receive a bunch of notifications in the morning, but since today I'm more relaxed, I checked most of the notifications on my iPhone, but you can see I still have a bit to go on over on my Apple Watch. So battery life on this update of watchOS 9.4 so far from the get go, if I was to just estimate, it looks pretty good. And if we go to the battery, health here and go down you can see my maximum capacity it's on 100 percent and before updating this was on 100 percent it's retained that which is pretty good and performance wise honestly i can't tell a difference between watchOS 9.4 beta 1 or the previous watchOS 9.3.1 so pretty good update it seems a little bit stable and let's look at some of the release notes that Apple told us when it comes to this update. So we'll go back to Safari and watch OS 9.4. If we see some of the release notes here, you notice that Apple really didn't tell us much when it, with regards to this update. They just have a resolved issue that has to do with Swift UI and they fixed some scroll view that have been improved and that is basically all that they told us so i really wish apple would have told us more maybe i'll dig around more and i might find something if i do i'll post it on my social media handles like twitter and so on and other than that that's about it for me when it comes to this update in terms of the next update or the next beta watch os 9.4 beta 2 i'll open up my calendar here and then i'll go to the monthly view so you can see today being the 17th i would say at this point in time, since it's early on, we are on like a two week release cycle. So that will bring us to the uh, week of the 28th when we can expect WatchOS 9.4 beta 2. Now, that's about it for me when it comes to this update, WatchOS 9.4 beta 1. If you like this video, do leave a like and stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.